My name is Dr. Rick Hine, and I'm a biologist at the UW-Green Bay Manitowoc campus. Together with my colleague Becky Abler, we have a research program that we call Stream Team. We have been working at a primarily freshman and sophomore institution for um, uh, many years, for over 20 years. And one of the things that we always see are students come in looking at science as a collection of facts that they have to memorize. We see science very differently. It's a process that we use to discover things about the world and improve um, our, our uh, ecosystems. So what we have done is created a research program where students get involved in community-based, real-world research problems and in the process gather evidence that can be used in decision making but also play the role of a real scientist. So that project has actually built from 2010 until this year where we actually have nine research students working with us. Um, the project involves looking at water quality throughout our region in Manitowoc County, looking at how land use impacts that water quality and ultimately how that water impacts Lake Michigan. Students will sample weekly and after rain events collecting data, uh, thousands of data points from um, up to 30 sites around the county and basically this project allows them to gather evidence that can be used in local decision making and then we encourage them to act as scientists to compile that data, to make it understandable to a non-scientist audience, and then present at um, both scientific conferences, um, but also at community-based uh, presentations. We're partnering with LNRP and LWI to monitor the water in our area. This could be from our phosphorus to our dissolved oxygen, ammonia, pH, all in order to understand what's happening and what's being fed into our lakes. It's all, the, all these streams just go straight to Lake Michigan and once these chemicals, particularly phosphorus, get into the lake, they can continually affect the environment for up to or even longer than 100 years from now. But the reason why this work is important is humans need fresh water and the Great Lakes serve as one of our biggest resources for fresh water around the globe even. And the research we're doing is to see what's all going into Lake Michigan, which is one of the biggest reserves for that fresh water. So it's to help with keep up with the health and safety for people and the environment. A lot of people underestimate the importance of healthy fresh water. I mean, in ecosystems, everything is tied together. I mean, if something's unhealthy in a stream, like it's going to impact everything. It's important for the community because our research is used by the DNR and a bunch of farmers and stuff so that the community can figure out what we need to do to solve the problems like with runoff and everything else. Um, the most valuable skill that I think I'm learning in this position is just how to problem solve and troubleshoot. You need to do a lot of that in research and so it's nice being able to learn it now with a big group of people and really supporting mentors with us. Um, what I like most about this kind of work is the hands-on experience that it gives. I've always been a hands-on learner, so being able to be in the field and work in the lab, it's great for the field that I plan to go into in my future. This is like one of the only issues that impacts the entire globe. It impacts economics, it impacts politics, it impacts equality, like it ties into everything. I think as people are realizing that more, that's kind of the key to um, solving a lot of the issues that we have right now. I think if there's anything else to say about the project, it's a worthwhile experience beginning to end, whether you're outside in the lab doing meetings, all in order to build towards something bigger than yourself. Everything we do is a part of a cycle, and this has shown me more and more that that is exactly the case. No matter how big or small, it affects everything.